it's time for another cigar session and another review here at Bespoke Unit. My name is Reinhard, and together with you, I'll be lighting up CAO session. Rick Rodriguez is not just an exceptionally talented master blender, but he's also the kind of person that you want to hang out with. Whenever Rick was working on a new blend, he would gather some of his pals, friends, and neighbors at his garage to have a so-called session. They would talk about all things cigars, new blends, and the overall experience. And it was exactly that what ultimately led to the creation of CAO Session. A rather special blend, though intended as an everyday smoke. Worthy of a proper man cave meetup. As always for this review, we're using the Bespoke Unit Cigar Formula, a quantifiable review matrix that you can also use for your reviews and to write down your own tasting notes. You can download a blank copy of the formula as well as the entire tasting sheet that I've used for this review. The CAO Session line is manufactured at General Cigar Dominicana in Santiago de los Caballeros. For over a decade, CAO did not use the factory to actually produce one of their Vitolas because most of their standard lines come from the mother company's factory in Nicaragua. With this new line, Rick Rodriguez is sort of going back to his roots. It's a very personal creation, not only because of the social gathering aspect, but also because he is working with his old team. Coming back home to where he actually started his journey with the company was clearly an important step for the charming master blender. Garage, bar, and shop are the onomatopoetic names for the three different Vitolas that the CEO session comes in. A double Robusto, a Toro, and a 6x60. I smoked quite a few of the Robustos and the Toros, with particular emphasis on the bar, which is the Toro, that I'm smoking right now. All of them feature a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, a Dominican Vegas Especial binder, over a filler consisting of Dominican Piloto Cubano and Nicaraguan Esteli tobaccos. Rolling the beautifully luscious looking cigar in my hand, the Maduro wrapper offers a very toothy but nevertheless refined look. There's a characterful sheen off of that Connecticut broadleaf with tiny veins, a rather coarse looking dress, but still an inviting overall appearance. And it delivers an interesting combination of a more rustic sort of working man's stick with a pop culture style element to it that's neither too flashy nor too old fashioned. All the cigars that I smoked had a very firm, even roll without bumps or bruises. Just a hint of resistance could be detected when pinching them ever so softly and an intense aroma of wet wood, musk and leather complemented the first impressions. As for the pre-light, the cold draw sensations revealed some sweetness in addition to the leathery wood sap notes. A rather firm draw offered a wide array of aromas already with some black banana, olibanum and manure on top. The first third then starts with sweet raisins sprinkled over toasted whole grain bread, some mint chocolate chip, like a piece of bitter chocolate but with that underlying ethereal freshness. The stimulation is superbly mellow, rich, creamy at the beginning, roasted hazelnuts and some candied orange peel. It's quite well balanced, I'd say medium strength in the beginning with a lingering spice peppermint freshness and a luscious sweetness. Well into the second third, there's an intriguing wild rice nuance coming up. Again, some chocolate malt sweetness, counterbalanced by a lively acidity, pink peppercorn, and a mineral sensation that reminds me of schist and wet stone. The evolution still quite creamy overall with a consistent medium strength profile but a very complex and full-bodied texture. I sense some stewed plums whilst transitioning into the final third. Overripe banana that we already had at the very beginning and in the cold draw, some bittersweet candy, orange peel, 
balsam wood, and also cedar. Dark nougat, coffee malt, and a spicy finish, which is prolonged by a touch of bitter wood, rich raisins, and some plum sweetness, counted by piquancy and spice. The CAO session is most definitely a complex smoke, intricately stimulating the entire palate in a well-structured and well-balanced way. The cigar offers quite a mellow, creamy mouthfeel, spiced up by a touch of bittersweet woodiness and some chocolate in the back. The life cycle can only be described as well-developed and the finish is lingering. The entire room is filled with a lovely residual sweetness and a peppery finesse. Now I have to admit that quite a few of the session cigars that I smoked needed some touch-ups, but given the thick and oily character of the wrapper that the cigars come in, the overall burn was still rather even, resulting in a strong backbone and a pristine ash. The draw is quite firm, but it reveals a superbly cool smoke that is quite tempting. In regards to some pairing recommendations that we always provide you with, yet they're not part of the overall score of the cigar, I would go for a dog roasted espresso, some plum juice to just underline and support that luscious fruity sweetness, or if you want to have something alcoholic, go for a Grand Manier or a bitter orange liqueur with just that mellow cognac based sensation, not a fantastic pairing, would be a chocolate stout or port de beer, as well as a German Riesling, where we will find that reminiscence of the schist and the whetstone and that very mineral, slightly salty sensation, yet a residual sweetness with a very light alcohol and a fresh acidic quality. A mint chocolate chip ice cream would be fantastic with the session, or an after eight that would also give you that combination of the bittersweet chocolate and a little bit of that ethereal freshness. Bitter chocolate wrapped marzipan, beef jerky, or a burnt marshmallow would also make for a delightful snack combination. Taking the overall experience into consideration, I really like the concept of the CAO session with that very convivial social element as the underlying story. The tactile sensations, the look and feel, it all sort of comes together nicely in the overall concept of the cigar that could appeal to many different people in many different occasions. Sit down, have a smoke, have a beer, uh, and just a great conversation. Or it could also be, you know, um, an occasional cigar when you just want to treat yourself with something different, when you want to go down that dark, sweet, chocolatey spice route with the Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. It's a regular production from CAO and the individual stick will set you back roughly $9. Overall, I think CAO Session is a fantastic value for money smoke. It's got a great look and even a charming box with a sort of flashy orange sheen. Now, me personally, I don't have a box of these, but rather the individual sticks, yet I've seen pictures of the box and they all look really nice. Whether you just sit, smoke and chill all by yourself, or you gather your best friends and pals around in your man cave for a session occasion. A CEO session will be a perfect accompaniment for that, and it will certainly not disappoint as a delightful cigar. And with that, I wish you a great session, and I'll see you next time here at Bespoke Unit. Light them up.